hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on sequences and series if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on sequences and series so in this video we'll be looking at geometric series and the sum to infinity so here we go a geometric series whose common ratio ranges from negative 1 to 1 has its sum converging to a particular value as n becomes larger and larger the more terms of the geometric series we add the closer the sum to a particular value we call this the sum to infinity of the geometric series this is given as s to infinity equal to a over 1 minus r here r ranges between negative 1 and positive 1 where a is the first term and r is the common ratio so we now go ahead to solve some examples on geometric series the sum to infinity so example one evaluate each of the following sum to infinity for your information if you are to just evaluate and you have something like this you know that you have to find the sum to infinity of the geometric series so starting from a remember our formula we have a first term to be 16 and the common ratio the common ratio is we can just say 1 divided by 2 which gives 1 over 2 so that the sum to infinity will be 16 over 1 minus 1 over 2 and that's going to give us 16 times 2 since 1 minus half is half 16 divided by half is 16 times 2 which gives 32 and that is the sum to infinity of this geometric series so we go ahead to example 1b for 1b our first term is 2 and the common ratio if you look at this 2 over 3 divided by 2 gives 1 over 3 2 over 9 divided by 2 over 3 gives 1 over 3 so, and our common ratio then becomes 1 over 3 so that the sum to infinity will be 2 over 1 minus 1 over 3 this will give us 2 times 3 over 2 3 over 2 since 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 so 2 divided by 2 over 3 is 2 times 3 over 2 and that will give us a 3 since these two goes with these two to give us 1 and 1 times 3 gives 3 and that's the end of solution to example 1b we go to 1c for example 1c we have our first term to be equal to 1 and the common ratio is obvious is 1 over 4 since 1 times 1 over 4 gives 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 gives 1 over 4 squared times 1 over 4 gives 1 over 4 cubed and so on therefore the sum to infinity now will be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 4 so that's going to give us 1 which is the numerator now 1 minus 1 over 4 gives 3 over 4 and 1 divided by 3 over 4 gives 1 times 4 over 3 and that gives one whole number 1 over 3 as a sum to infinity of this geometric series represented in example 1 c then we are done with example 1 we go to example 2 for example 2 given the geometric progression 27 9 3 1 and so on calculate the sum of the first nine terms b the sum to infinity of the gp so from here 
we know that our first term is 27 and our common ratio is 9 divided by 27 or 3 divided by 9 or 1 divided by 3 which gives 1 over 3 and uh, our n is 9 since we have to find the sum of the first 9 terms we see remember our formula for finding a finite number of a geometric series which is sn equal to a into 1 minus r raised to the power n over 1 minus r since r is less than 1 here so we have our s9 which is 27 into 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to the power 9 since n is 9 over 1 minus 1 over 3 this will give me 27 times 1 minus 1 over 3 raised to the power n gives 19,682 over 19,683 then this is divide by 1 minus 1 over 3 and 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 so that will now be multiplied by 3 over 2 since we are dividing so if you simplify this we have 9841 over 243 which gives 40.498 if we want to approximate now it will give us 40.5 this is to tell you now if we continue to add more terms to this we are likely going to have 40.5 and let's see if the sum to infinity of the gp will give us 40.5 so we go to be part of the problem for b we have a we have s infinity equal to a over 1 minus r and uh, therefore s to infinity is 27 over 1 minus 1 over 3 that's going to give us 27 times since this is 1 minus 1 over 3 which will give us 27 divided by 2 over 3 so we now have it as times 3 over 2 so this gives 40.5 so we go to example 3 for example 3 the sum to infinity of a geometric series is 1.5 Find the common ratio if its first term is 1 over 2. Here we are giving the sum to infinity to be 1.5. Find the common ratio. We are looking for the common ratio. And the first term here is 1 over 2. So we remember our formula sum to infinity is 1 over 1 minus r. So we are looking for r here. We know a, we know this as infinity. So substituting, we have. 3 over 2 since this is 1.5 is equal to 1 over 2 over 1 minus r if i make this a form of cross multiplying i make 1 minus r the subject of the formula i will now be left with 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 so since it's going to be 1 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 so it will be 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 and that will give us r equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 these two goes with these two i will left it 1 over 3 here taking this to this side and bringing this i have r equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 and that gives 2 over 3 and that's the end of solution to example 3 we go to example 4 for example 4 a geometric progression has its common ratio as 1 over 4. If its sum to infinity is 20, calculate its first term. So here we are giving s to infinity again to be 20. And we are giving the common ratio to be 1 over 4. And we have our formula here. We are looking for the first term. We are looking for a so that we have 20 equal to a over 1 minus 1 over 4 so if you make a the subject of the formula we are going to have 20 times so 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4 that's going to be 20 times 3 over 4 
um, 4 here, 1, 4, so A is equal to 15, since 5 times 3 gives 15. And that's the end of solution to example 4. This is the highest we can go in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.